Here's a copy of today's rating of film. Oh, thank you, dear. Oh. <clears throat> now, fellow executives, much has been made of our merger with one company, but I'm here to tell you that this network is solid as a rock, just as the day I gave birth to it all those years ago. And let me be the first to say that the good Lord above has willed me to keep this network alive come a hell or high water, or both, as the case may be. I'm not going to fail you, and you're not going to fail me. And by that, I mean that you are going to shepherd this body of TV souls into the next 100 years by any means necessary. We are going to be number one, damn it. And that doesn't mean close, but no cigar. That doesn't mean this and this rating and such and such share. That means number one with a capital O, and I'll be damned if any one of you is going to give me any less than that come this time next year. So get off your collective duffs, reach into the sky and say, good Lord in heaven, make this network number one again. I won't settle for second best and neither will you. Now, another thing has come upon me and I'm passing the baton to all of you to make my dream a reality. I had a dream. Let's call it a vision. Producing a show so grand and unique that it won't have a choice but to be the number one show in the world. And by that, as I sit on this green earth, I don't mean a close second. This show will top all the others. We'll make the other shows embarrassed for even trying. This show will divide time into a before and after. We'll have people talking about the new us. We'll have every sensible agent in town begging to have their clients guest on our show. This is going to be the next great TV space show. By that, I don't mean the next Star Trek or the next Buck Rogers or the next the Watch of a Collet. I mean that this show is going to set standards in ways that will confuse the censors. We are going to give them a show that absolutely will not be denied. It can't be. It's that good. Any questions? I hope not. Because your jobs, your careers, your lives depend upon it. <clears throat> Now, go and do your best in Godspeed. I expect the full report on this show Monday morning at 8 o'clock. serious this time. Of course he's serious. Will we have a budget for this one? Whatever we need. Hey, look, we're gonna need more than a budget. At Universal, they go a million an episode for Battlestar Galactica. Even look at the ratings they got. They're sky high. It makes no difference. We need to figure out what this show is going to be before we talk budget. Oh, it's gotta be realistic. I mean, the type of show he's dreaming about will cost a fortune. Plus, it's a huge risk. Sci-fi is a niche market. This is a business. Risk versus reward, my dear. The old man knows best. All right, look, relax, guys. I've already set up some meetings with the top talent in the field. Who sent them? Look, when I found out that the old man was making this little videotape, I had my assistant send me over a little preview copy. I've known about this sci-fi crap for like three days now. Well, thanks for sharing. Okay, forget it. Are these people really worth seeing? They're the best of the best. We can't lose. I say we cut our losses now. Let's put the whole thing on the web. <laughs> no, 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 no. You heard him. He said show, and we're going to deliver a show. Let's send him in. All right, this first guy we're gonna see is a real comer. He's from the soaps. I think he'd be great for the captain of the ship. What ship? The ship on the show. What show? Our show. It's called Outpost. What do you mean it's called? Look, I've already optioned the treatment. Outpost is the it. You're insane, you did this without us? Well, I thought I'd get a head start. It was cheap. Oh, it was cheap. Just sent him in. 
time. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming in. Look, let's cut right to the mustard. We got a big show coming up. It's going to be huge, and we're thinking about you for the captain of the ship. Actually, it's an outpost in deep space. Great. What's the show called? Outpost. Makes sense. Sounds grand. What's the name of the captain? It's all still speculative. Don't tell him that. Look, he's just referred to as the captain for now, okay? Did you get the treatment my assistant sent over? Yes, I got it. It looks good. There's a treatment? Yeah, the writer's coming in later. All right, now what do you think about playing the captain? Well, what do I think about what? Well, how would you play? Well, I think the captain should have a studied manner. Um, be calm yet assertive, exude an inner strength. Like Kirk. Who? Well, Captain Kirk from Star Trek. Oh, I like that other captain too, the one from the, uh, the new one. The, uh... You mean the... Patrick Stewart? Right. He was a great captain. <laughs> um, don't worry, we're not going to ask you to be bald or anything. Bald. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what kind of gestures do you think a captain would make? Gestures? You mean with my hands? No, gestures are identifiable when you need identity. Look, is, is there something that you could do, like, every episode? You mean... Something children could imitate? Yeah, just something that you do. Yeah. I, uh, I really don't work like that. I, uh, work through my eyes, my expressions, my emotions. Maybe you could stand a certain way. Yeah, could you stand up? you would stand. Like this? Maybe you could stand that way and then kind of gesture. Like I'd be pointing into outer space. I don't get it. What are you pointing at? Outer space. I still don't get it. All right, work on it. Thanks for coming in. That's it? We'll call you. I got some ideas. We're gonna see some other people. Okay. Thanks for seeing me.